All right, welcome to the network. Let's talk about the hood surfing cops of Carroll, Iowa. Uh, this one, you're going to see a traffic stop that took place wherever the hell Carroll, Iowa is at. I don't know where that's at. Pretty interesting video, one of the more remarkable ones I've seen. Uh, police officers trying to take a suspect into custody that had some warrants for their arrest. Don't know if they were felony or misdemeanor, but some interesting things happen here when it comes time to actually take the subject into custody. The video is going to cut in just shortly after uh, the initial traffic stop, and it gets right to the good stuff. So have a look at this, and uh, make sure and comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. If you got any other videos that you want to see, uh, point those out in the video, and we'll, uh, we'll, do, we'll do a session on those as well. So enjoy. Stop the car! Stop the car! Stop! Stop! Stop the! Stop it! Stop the car! Stop the car! On the dash, bro. Get your hands on the dash. Well, they're up. Now he's surfing the hood of the car. Yeah, at some point, man, you gotta ski or flee right here before he gets up to speed. Yeah, now he's up to speed. Yeah, that's a bad deal there. I'm also gonna need a toe. I'm gonna need a toe. <laughs> I'm also gonna need a toe. <laughs> Well, there you have it. Hope you uh, got something out of that footage. A couple more interesting things there that I want to point out, uh, and there's going to be, you know, opinions abundant on this video. One thing that, that I think is hard to overlook is just the fact that uh, the officer exercised great, res great restraint here. Um, no shots fired. You could tell he did not want to have to use deadly force on that subject, although, um, you know, circumstances may very well have allowed it or even called for it um, but great restraint was used right there he, he clearly did not want to use deadly force even to his own detriment clearly when you're on top of the a moving car moving at what looked like a pretty good clip right there I think uh, I think a lot of people would would agree that that he could have possibly very well have moved to that level of force what are your thoughts on it in the comments let me know what you think there, I've never personally been in this this situation but it's it's something to consider before jumping on the hood of a car you know, you have a great, great vantage point there, and it does even look like the subject had his hands kind of up, uh, but clearly he either locked, vapor locked there or made no efforts whatsoever to stop the vehicle so the officer could get off. I think they said the suspect ended up getting five years prison time, and uh, the officer ended up with a uh, some sort of fracture in his back as a result of getting removed from the car. And I want to point out the, the comical aspect of that for me was not uh, not the officer's injuries, but was the, the wherewithal that the backup officer had to be thinking about his duties after administering uh, safety and first aid for his primary officer in, in calling for the tow. I thought that, was, uh, thought that was quite comical. Just the dark side of humor for law enforcement. So keep that in mind. But interesting vehicle or interesting uh, video all in all for you guys. Hope you hope you enjoyed it and take something out of it. And again, if there's something you see that you want to cover, uh, call it out in the, in the comments. We'll try to find the video and do the same thing. So you guys have a blessed day. Much love and respect.